All right, everybody, you all know my next guest is Harry Potter. Well, beginning June 4th, you can see him in Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. Please welcome Daniel Radcliffe. <laughs> Thanks for being here. Thanks. No, it's great. It's yeah, fantastic. nice to have you on the show. Thank you know, this Harry Potter thing, as uh, you're well aware, an, ins an insane phenomenon yeah. all over the world. And I'm just curious, where is it the most intense? I mean, tonight I mentioned your name, people go crazy, <laughs> but is there one area of the world, because you've traveled the whole globe promoting these movies, where is it the craziest? Probably the most intense was Japan, because mm -hmm. they, they, the whole nation kind of embraces Harry Potter, and right. it's, it's amazing. But like, I arrived at the airport and there were three thousand people waiting there. That's incredible. Yeah, three thousand, and yeah. are, are they young people mostly? And they're uh, kind of from like three to thirty. Right. How does a three-year-old get to the airport? That's what I'm thinking about. <laughs> uh, so, so they're very excited, and and they go crazy, right? Mm, you get in a yeah. car, the car takes off. Do they, they they try and follow you around? We actually had two. Um, girls out there who we actually nicknamed the six billion dollar women who would literally, they at one point followed us, ran after our car for about six miles. Um, so even if you were doing 80 miles an hour, they were still right yeah. behind you. Like yeah. Terminator they, 2, they were, they were just they were, zooming they were after fast. you. That's yeah. incredible. That must feel amazing. Yeah. I'm huge amazing. in the Netherlands, it turns out. <laughs> yeah, there'll be as many as nine people in wooden shoes standing cool outside the plane on. when I... Um, do you have, you've become, you're a big celebrity now, and you have some celebrity crushes, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. Is it is is this embarrassing for you, no, or did you just tell us I, uh, yeah, tell I, us who it's, you it's like? It's kind of frightening because I, I think apparently you ha had her on the show. Apparently, I think maybe Brody Dahl at the Distillers. Definitely, we Brody had her Dahl. on the show. Um, she's great. She's uh, oh. <laughs> she's kind of she's uh, she's hot in that kind of I haven't slept in days way, and she's just like she. I ran. know exactly what you're talking about. <laughs> and There's nothing like... sexier than a woman who's been sleep deprived. <laughs> No, I, but I know what you mean. She's a, she's yeah, she's, a great she's, musician, she's, yeah, but also awesome band. very sexy. Like, yeah. But I'm kind of scared of saying it because, like, Josh Homme, who's like her, her, I think her boyfriend, maybe her husband, I don't think, so, I don't know. Boyfriend. Her boyfriend. I'm quite sure, yeah. yeah um, From Queens in the Queens Stone Age. Age. Yeah. An awesome band. Yeah. Um, and he, he hit a guy in a bar for talking to her, and so now I'm kind of scared he's going to hunt me down for saying this on TV. But, um... I don't think you, I think he's allowed to say, uh, uh, you know, listen to someone uh, flatter his girlfriend on television. That's nice. I think I if you started trying to talk to her in a bar... He's a big guy. Right, he is a big guy. I got your back, man. Yeah? Yeah, cool. yeah, we'll go. Yeah, I got you. Because I couldn't take him, yeah. really. Yeah, I could. Cool. <laughs> yeah, when he's... <laughs> Nothing like having the oven mitt guy. Have your back. Keep getting any trouble. Uh... Now, of course, the Harry Potter movies, they're, they're, they're playing all the time on, on, on TV. You know, I've noticed. Yeah. Whenever I turn on cable, it's just... It's, it's, it's usually one of the first things I see is one of the Harry Potter films. Have you caught yourself on TV, and is that weird for you? It's, it's completely insane. It's yeah. mad. It's because I'm like flicking through the channels, and I get to. I once, the one time I did, I haven't seen the first film at this point in like, probably about three years. Right. And I was flicking through the channels on TV, and it came on, and I sat there and listened to it. And I thought this would be, this would be like just funny to watch, and I, I like, I, I swore there was something wrong with the sound on our TV. I was like, my voice is so high. I was like, getting up, hitting the TV and stuff. And, I, and I, it just sounded like I'd inhaled helium before I'd gone <laughs> on that time. But, I mean, so I... I How I old can... were you at the time you made the movie, though? Uh, uh, mm -hmm. Eleven. Eleven? Eleven, yeah. I can but... top that. I once worked my first job that I ever had, and I think I was, like, 14 years old, and my voice was still really high. And I had to answer phones, and people would say, Please, ma'am, may I speak to that? I'd be like, I'm a man! <laughs> <laughs> Nine years later, my voice changed, and now I'm the man wow. you see before you. Yeah, huge in the Netherlands. Um, <laughs> every young actor in the world tried to audition for Harry Potter. Thousands and thousands and thousands. What do you think it was you did that got you the role? Well, I have a kind of a series of really freakish things that I do. Um, well, one of which, another thing we one... have in common. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but the main, I think the one that probably clinched, I'm just gonna have some water, sorry. Sure, that's okay. That's not water. Oh. <laughs> I thought that the was Tom that... Arnold's, I'm sorry. Uh... <laughs> the one that kind of um, clinched it was, now, if I'm gonna show everyone something and I need to, can I come yeah, around? Yeah. Yes, come around, yeah, okay. yeah. Oh, just just don't on. hit that lever, no, it causes I've... all kinds of problems. But yeah. basically, um, <laughs> the thing that I did that kind of clinched um, the audition, I think, is I can rotate my hand 360 degrees. What? Um, so if I take that, I can just turn it. Ah! 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 Wow! Look at that! 
and then kind of just spins back around like that. So. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's what did it. That's an incredible. That's uh, the only thing wow. I have to <laughs> it's even better when you scream while you're yeah. doing it. <laughs> that adds a great effect. Now, uh, can you drive yet? No. You can't no, drive I'm 14. yet. You're how old? 15? 14. 14. 14. Um, when can you drive? You can drive. <laughs> Thank you. Oh. <laughs> People are going, oh. They're going to try and steal you and take you home <laughs> and raise you. Uh, you can have a car in two years, two and a half years? Uh, two and a half years, yeah. Two and a half years. Yeah, yeah. Uh, do you, have you thought about what kind of car yeah. you're going to get? You might have some money in the bank. You can have whatever you want. What are you going to do? I want one of those huge red Cadillacs. Huge red Cadillac? Yeah. They're amazing. <laughs> <laughs> like, you can't turn them. You have to turn They're like 23 feet long. You can't turn them. You so you mean like a 1970s yeah. red pimp mobile? They're amazing. <laughs> but I like motorbikes, too. Right. Like, like, you could probably have one of those in the back seat. Those are such big cars. <laughs> yeah. I mean, they're, they're, they're just, like, I got it from I, one of my favorite books and favorite films is Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas. And it's, right. it's the great, great red shark. Right, great. <laughs> those are great books. And so, and so you want to get yeah. a big... That's so funny. Just think, uh, just think of Harry Potter bombing around in this huge gas guzzling. <laughs> it, it, what I like about it, though, is it's really inconspicuous. No one would notice that. It wouldn't draw attention at all. I no, not at all. If you drove in certain areas of Miami, <laughs> no one would notice you. Yeah. <laughs> very, very nice. Uh, yeah, it's very nice to have you on the show. No, yeah, and, and the new funny. movie comes out, Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. Azkaban, I, yeah. yeah. Azkaban. Right. Yeah, there I go. Uh, opens uh, next Friday. So yes. check that out. Yeah. Yes, indeed. All right, thank you very much for being here, Daniel. Daniel Radcliffe, we'll be right back. John Pizzarelli, stick around. All right, folks, that's our show. I do want to thank all my guests. And uh, you asked if you could pull the lever, which I thought was really nice. So go ahead. Let's see it. Doctor yeah. said one more hour and you wouldn't have made it. It was a close one, all right, for both of us. What are we going to do about people like LaRue? Well, until the justice system becomes more concerned about the victims of crimes, all we can do is catch them and prosecute them. You sure don't look bad for a man who's been stung by scorpions.